Lesson 1.12, Problem Solving, Model Addition and Subtraction. Use the bar model to solve the problem. Number one, Elena went bowling. Elena's score in the first game was 127. She scored 16 more points in the second game than in the first game. What was her total score? So let's circle our important numbers and keywords. So we know she scored 127 points in the first game, and it's right here in this bar model. And she scored 16 more points in the second game than she did the first game. So they don't tell us how much she scored in the second game, but they told us that she scored 16 more than she did in the first game. And we always underline our question. What was her total score? And we circle the word total. Total is a keyword that tells us to add. So we put a plus sign up here because we know we're going to be adding. So let's begin solving our problem. So we know the first game was 127 points right here. And the second game, they didn't tell us, but they gave us a hint. They told us it was 16 more than what she scored in the first game. So if this is the score of her first game, then we add 16 to it to get the score of the second game. So 127 plus 16, when we solve it, 127 plus 16, we start with a ones place. 7 plus 6 is 13. 2 plus, we carry our 1. Now, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. And we have the hundreds place. It's only the 1, so we just bring it down. So in the second game, she scored 143. So the second game was 143 but we're not done because they're asking for her total score not just game two but her total score so to get a total we add game one and game two so 127 plus 143 we start adding the ones place seven plus three is ten we carry our one so let's add the tens place one plus two is three three plus four is seven now we add the hundreds place. One plus one, that equals two. So the total, it was 270. Number two. Mike's Music sold 287 CDs on the first day of a two day sale. The store sold 96 more CDs on the second day than on the first day. How many CDs in all were sold during the two-day sale? So let's circle our keywords and important numbers. So 287 CDs were sold on the first day. And on the second day, they sold 96 more CDs than they did on the first day. So how we on our question, because it tells us what to find, how many CDs in all were sold during a two-day sale. So we have a keyword, in all. In all tells us we have to add. So whenever you see in all, that's another keyword that tells us to add. So we begin by finding the amount of CDs that were sold on the first day. So on the first day, 287 CDs were sold. So 287 CDs were sold. On the second day, they didn't tell us how many it was, but they did give us a hint that it was 96 more than the first day. So we're going to put 96 right here because together, the second day was the first day and 96 combined. So we're gonna combine the, the amount of CDs sold on the first day and 
96 to get a total for day two. So 287 plus 96. 7 plus 6 is 13. We carry our 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 9 plus 9 is 18. We carry our 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So day 2, how many CDs are sold? 383. So 383. That was for day two. Now they asked us to find how many CDs in all. So we're gonna have to add day one's total and day two. So let's begin adding day one and two. So on the first day, 287 CDs were sold. And on the second day, it was 383 CDs. Now that we have the total, we add them together. 287 287 plus 383. We start adding the ones. 7 plus 3 equals 10. We carry our 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 9 plus 8 is 17. We carry our 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 670 was the total. Number 3. Write an addition or subtraction problem and draw a diagram to solve it. So let's create. Our problem will be 320 minus 50. So now we have to create a diagram. So we're going to draw a diagram to solve it. So let's use a bar model. So we have 320 minus 50. So let's start drawing our bar graph, our bar model. We have 320. minus 50. So the way we're going to show subtracting 50, we're going to show a shorter bar. And the difference will be the last bar so it'll come up to here we know it's going to be shorter so 320 minus 50 2 minus 5 we can't do that so we have to borrow from the hundreds place we borrow one and we put it in front of the 2 now the 2 becomes a 12 12 minus 5 is 7 and 2 minus 0 is 2. So our, the difference is 270. So that is our answer.